Climate change, it's defined as the long-term shifts in weather and temperature patterns, which can be natural, but human activity has been the leading factor, mostly due to burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. While it may be hard to understand what you can't always see, experts say signs are all around us. Catastrophic wildfires, devastating floods, just unimaginable natural disasters that leave families homeless or worse. You may have seen a snapshot of what's been happening globally, but what about what's going on in your area? Join us as we travel across the tri-state, meeting everyone from scientists to everyday folks, exploring what's next for your land, air, and waters. The gusty wind keeps increasing in force and frequency, and the rain's coming down so hard it feels like BBs on your skin. Because of the flood waters, and what we are seeing is just total destruction. The real test now, how to rebuild. go into the specifics, it's good to make sure we know the basics. We're about to dive into some of the science behind climate change. So if you're already an expert, this might be old news to you. Be sure to stick around for future episodes. But if you're someone who just doesn't understand the background, this one's for you. What's the main driver of our changing climate? The greenhouse effect. And it's what makes our planet so special. The Earth's atmosphere acts almost like glass in a greenhouse, trapping that sun's heat, making Earth's temperature a comfortable 58 Fahrenheit degree average. Human activity has increased the amount of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. This gas uptick traps more and more and more of the sun's heat, which causes a rise in temperature. And we've been seeing this shift in our lifetime, the last decade being the hottest ever recorded. So with temperatures shifting, what's the relationship between global warming and climate change? I'll have Storm Team 4 take it from here. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Violetta Yas. Here's something you may not know. Although people tend to use these terms interchangeably, global warming is just one part of climate change. It refers to the continuing warming of our planet. Earth's temperature has risen 0.14 degrees Fahrenheit per decade since 1880. But since the 1980s, that rate has doubled. In recent years, we've picked up some ominous statistics. Last year was the sixth warmest year on record, and nine of the 10 hottest years globally have occurred in the last decade. Now, let's take a look at our area in New York. The annual average temperature has risen about 2.4 degrees since 1970. More warming will occur, especially away from the coast. Now let's shift from global warming to climate change as a whole. Global warming is the root cause, but climate change covers the broader scope of phenomena we're experiencing across the globe as a result of our rising temperatures. For instance, warmer temperatures lead to the melting of glaciers and polar ice caps. The ice melt causes sea levels to rise. Rising sea levels lead to coastal inundation and erosion, especially in stormy weather. Speaking of storms, a warmer Earth intensifies all types of extreme weather, bigger floods, and more devastating droughts. In the tri-state area, we face an increase in annual precipitation. Storms are becoming more frequent and more intense with more severe impacts, a trend that is becoming more evident in recent years. A day after catastrophic flooding, both inundated homes and gutted this neighborhood, Hollis Queens neighbors are helping each other with necessities. Another downpour, another cleanup in Middle Village. This was just a, like, a one hour storm, and this is what we get. Water being up over the dock and stuff, this is the highest I've ever seen it, and, and the roughest. 
stunted corn cobs that are barely fit for consumption. It's like this on farmland throughout most of New Jersey this summer. The state drought monitor is showing a wider and more severe drought taking hold across the state. So that's a quick overview of global warming and climate change, but we're just scratching the surface. The problem is complex with many deeper layers to explore and understand. Thanks, Violetta. Now, stay tuned for our next episode, all about the impacts facing our land, from invasive species to the actual change in the way we taste our food. I'm Linda Gaudino, News 4 New York, and we'll see you then.